Good day and welcome to another one of Taff's tutorials. I'm Taff and today we're going to do a bit of back to basics in Reaper. I see a lot of people questioning why they can't get sound through Reaper using their audio interface and in reality it's that they haven't actually set it up properly. So whichever interface you have visit the company's website, download the appropriate ASIO drivers for it and install those using the instructions for your interface. Some will require for you to have it unplugged while you install the uh, drivers and then plug it in at a certain point. Just follow the instructions that are given whilst installing the drivers. Once that is done, Open Reaper. If this is your first time opening Reaper, it will tell you that you need to choose your interface and it will give you the option to go to this part of the menu. Uh, for those of you who have made the mistake of just plugging in and wanting to play, this is what you need to do. Go to your options, select preferences, and in this menu on the left hand side, scroll down to device, choose device. Usually it's set to wave out to begin with, which is your uh, computer microphone and computer speakers. You want to choose ASIO, and then in the ASIO driver, as you can see, I have a UMC and I have a fast track. Uh, I use the fast track for repo. So we select that, enable your input one, the first input, uh, my M Audio Fast Track has eight inputs. We select eight as being the last. If you have a uh, little focus right with just two inputs, then you'd select two there. Uh, you select as many inputs as you can. That allows them to be uh, selected when you choose to record. Your output range, yet again, select one through to eight. This means that if you're routing, uh, routing in the future, you can select any of your inputs to route a track out to and then you would press OK or apply. Now the other thing that uh, people struggle with is they say oh there's a delay between what I'm playing and what I'm hearing. Now this is where you would use your ASIO configuration or you'd select particular sizes here. So if we click on the ASIO configuration for, for me, it brings up my M Audio configuration, which is uh, still loading at the moment. So I do apologize. Your ASIO configuration will vastly differ depending on what interface you are personally using. So um, there we go. In the setup, we can choose the buffer size here. Uh, my buffer size is set to 256, which is ideal for what I do. I don't get uh, a massive amount of latency with that. Um, I can use some basic effects. Uh, what you want to really do is use the minimum amount of uh, of the buffer size that you can get away with whilst recording, because that minimizes your latency right down. For your mixing and production work where you're going to be adding reverb and other such effects, put your buffer size up because that allows more processing ahead to happen. Um, and that is basically it. That is everything that you need to know. Uh, if I click OK here, uh, you'll see up here um, we've got 8.8 .8 to 7.8 milliseconds uh, delay. Um, yeah, in, yeah, so you'll see in the top right hand corner of Reaper, uh, I admit my ugly mug is in the way, so you won't see what's on my screen, but uh, you'll need to do that. You'll also need to check your interface to see if it's got direct monitoring. Um, my Behringer has, it's got a little mix knob where if I turn it far left, it gives me what the computer is play, uh, what the uh, interface is picking up on its own. If I turn it far right, it gives me just what's coming through the computer or I can blend in between. Some of them, like uh, some of the focus right ones, literally have a button for direct monitoring. If it's on, then you're monitoring exactly what's coming through the interface, not what's coming th from Reaper. If you click it off, then it has what's coming from Reaper. 
if you have the direct monitoring off you will need to go to this little icon on your track there's a little speaker button here if we click on it it's turned the record monitoring to auto off and on i always just leave it on yeah to monitor the input and that way yeah it's it's always showing me yeah, it's like playing exactly what uh what i'm saying what i'm speaking what the instrument is back through to my speakers through reaper with any effects on and so on and yes it can cause a tiny bit of latency but if you have your buffer settings right then you sh yes you shouldn't have so much latency that you can't deal with it um and in fact you should barely be hearing it uh if you have any questions pop them in the comments if you'd like me to do any uh, quick videos on any questions that you have uh with regards to to reaper pop it in the comments send me a message and i will get them done as soon as i can thank you